it's a fallacy to say that people have a right to somebody else's services. Now, you have a right to your life, and you have a right to your liberty, and you have a right to earn a living. You ought to have a right to keep it, but you have a responsibility to take care of yourself. But you don't have a right uh, to get something from government because government has nothing. I believe the most damaging thing about this debate on, on medical care is that there's no, nobody really representing the position that we need less government involvement. Even the opponents of the uh, uh, Obama program uh, don't take the position that we need less government. They don't recognize that it's a managed care system that has failed, it's government that has failed. And they're not recognizing the fact that what we must do is uh, redefine uh, in insurance back to the old understanding that you insure risk instead of calling social welfare programs uh, insurance. And the most important thing we could do is probably look at the tax code, not push medical saving kind of aside and push aside a move toward individuals taking responsibility for medical care, but uh, in instead more on the government. And changing the tax code would be a big help uh, in, in doing this, which means that everybody would get uh, a tax deduction. Matter of fact, what I want is a tax credit, 100% tax credit for all medical expenses and let individuals then pay all their bills, get back to the doctor-patient relationship and get people to buy real insurance, which is a major medical policy, to insure against major medical problems.